YouTube. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Today, we're going to be reacting to a region in the world that is known for barbering. So this video right here, I kind of caught when I was I was looking for dope barbering videos that you know we could we could watch and react to, and this one caught my eye. And if you're wondering why I got this shirt on, because I'm about to step out with my wife. It's like 10 o'clock or whatever. Me and my wife gonna have some uh, husband wife time, and so you gotta put on a, a different type of shirt. We doing things a little different tonight. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and check out this video. All right, guys, so this is it right here. I visited the best rated barbershop in Istanbul, Turkey. Turkey is known for barbering, so I really was interested in watching this video. Now, huge shout out to Aaron Aldball. This is his channel. Show him some love. Aaron Aldball. He's got 12,000 subscribers, almost 13. His channel will be in the link below if you want to check him out. He does a lot of self cuts, beard stuff, and it looks like he visits shops. How's it going? I'm currently in Istanbul, in Turkey, right now, and I'm about to go and visit a barber shop because let's face face it i need <laughs> i need a haircut and beard trim and bro whatever else i would lace you with the cleanest fade bro your head shape is nice clean up the beard bro you would get a really dope fade in istanbul i'm not quite sure how accurate those stats are put it this way i definitely know there are lots to choose from barbershops in turkey are known for their hospitality and extra services save myself some time i did a quick Six google weeks. search for the best barber in istanbul and i found this one Damn. near to me 2.2 kilometers and it has over 1,000 reviews at five stars pretty much okay Get the blood, get, hey, the ash is on the beard. They got the ash on the beard, bro. <laughs> it's best to find a picture on Google. I want a sort of high skin fade with a beard fade. Damn. Here it is. The fun. I remember when it was really bad out there in Turkey. Ati Erkek Barbershop. Wow. Shop is gorgeous. I like it. That's a table from 1930. Wow. These stuff are old, nearly 100 years old. 100 wow. years old? From the uh, past 100 years. And wow. uh, here you see the different things. So here we have clippers from old barbers. Look, here's a That's Chevrolet dope, razor. Bro. Yo, them chairs are crazy. Hold on. Hold on some chairs, some barber chairs. Uh, no, thank you. He said no? Man, you better drink that. Those are like some nice barber chairs. I ain't gonna lie. Disposable cape. Do you think there's a barber's license in Turkey? Let me know in the comments below. It looks like if they don't, I can't think of any other country that requires a barber's license to cut hair besides the US. And I know there's some parts of Canada that have a license, but it's not required for barbering. But they look like they're pretty damn sanitary, man. And it might be because of COVID, but I've never been to a con another country where the barbers are dirty. They're all using cool care and stuff. So this is cool to continue to see. So here we are, going for the high skin fade. I'm excited. He showed him the picture, I know. He's gonna dress me up like a priest first again. All right, here we go. Got d bulk first. The clippers, what clippers are he using? Those look like they're actually pretty nice. Cordless. I can't explain to you how good this fit. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weird how he's holding the clipper right now. The way he's holding the clipper, it got me a little... If I was sitting in that chair, I'd be a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. But everybody holds their clippers a little different, I guess. People think the way I hold my clipper when I'm fading is a little weird. But because of my finger, the way I, where I put my finger, to be my fair, index finger. You probably know anyway, due to the fact that barbershops are closed in most places. Bro. Here in Turkey, they're still open for now. Guys, I need to know, at this point, what are you thinking? Are you thinking it's going to come out good or are you thinking it's going to come out bad? Because right, right now I'm thinking he didn't get the barber that did the haircut in the Google reviews that he was looking at. That's what I'm thinking as of right now. Next he'll put the guideline in. Although I could be wrong. Let's see. Ooh. It's not, I don't know, man. I guess it's a sort of guideline he's putting in. It's not tight. He's not using the trimmer first. He's kind of fading it as he's doing it. All right, there's the guideline. Okay, he's using the trimmer now. And he's definitely making that thing high. 
definitely going to be a high fade. I fate. literally love seeing the sides get boarded out. I know them things modify. You got the uh, those trimmers from Amazon. Probably put the wall blade on it. Yo, he moving kind of like every like rushed almost. Brush off that excess hair. Clean out that that ball line now. It's coming out kind of blurry from this angle. Okay, you got the shaver on him. Necessary. The shaver is necessary. That's a good sign. It don't look bad. Hey man, he's at like 10 minutes. <laughs> wow, the beard looks even worse after he's done that. <laughs> He's gonna blow dry so he can get a nice it shape. Really needs chopping, honestly. My man is sweating. Look, he about to fade the beard in. Ah. Some of you guys don't know those clip what how these clippers work. These clippers, that's not a lever. That's a push down. So when you push it down, the blade closes. Does it close or does it open? I think it opens. But watch when he's pushing it down. He's not going like he's not going like this. He's pushing it down. Watch. Some of y'all never seen clippers like this before. Ah, oh, it's not gonna show. Uh, I will bring it up just a tad bit. I will bring it up just a tad bit. Oh, look at him. Two clippers. He got two clippers on. There you go. It looked like he brought the beard up just a tad bit. So see how he's got his middle finger on that lever? It's a push. It's a push lever. Why he fade? He faded it like down here. Look! Look at the lever. Now he let it go. Look! Look! look. See how he pushed it down right there with his thumb? But it looks like he's fading it from down here too, from the neck. Yo, look at him. And the fade is there. He just got a different way of, of cutting, man. A million ways to do to do a haircut, man. Oh, here we go. I need to see the ash, though. I need to see the ash line. Uh, I don't like how he, he dropped it so much here. Hey, that's one thing they know how to do in Turkey is use that razor. He got the Turkish razor. Oh snap. Oh snap. That's the only complaint I got is how he brought it down a little bit here in this area. Gotta keep that wide. See, even on that side, he brought it down too low. Wow, that's it. Getting the excess hair off my face. Hey, but he looks a whole lot different, man. So I don't look like a Yeti. Amazing what a cut will do for somebody. Oh, okay. Show off. <laughs> hey, run that back, bro. Run that back. He is in his bag right here. Look at him. In his bag. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You got to have some confidence, man. Got to be a little bit cocky sometimes. Okay, then I'd like to share some thoughts with you about the best rated barbershop in Istanbul, according to Google anyway. So, as soon as I turned up, they greeted me, they were polite, they were hospitable, they gave me a cup of tea, which was very kind of them. The shop was absolutely immaculate, I love the design, um, they were cleaning as well after each haircut, which yeah. I like. Yeah, look, look at the sterilizer, they're cleaner than me. They got the sterilizer, that look like it's like sanitizing spray, the UV sanitizing cabinet, obviously. Oh no, I don't see the barber side. But look, they got the, the headrest covered. They probably put an, a fresh one in between every client. They're very clean. Um, they were cleaning as well after each haircut, which I liked. And I saw them also sterilizing the clippers. And the barbers were wearing masks as well. Onto the haircut itself, I thought it was a very professional job. I, it's I good. Say it was the best fade I've ever had. But That's in pretty the damn. End, I was happy with it, which is. I mean, how do you get much better than that? Maybe the lineup, you know, you get a nice clean vertical bar so the fade looks a little bit more gradient. Maybe he usually keeps it longer on top, but there's no lines. It's a good fade. 
actually cost me 90 Turkish Lira, which is £9. So you could probably get it cheaper in Istanbul somewhere. In fact, like $12. The, the flame around the hairs on my ears <laughs> was also included in the price. He did offer me some extra services, which include nose hair, included nose hair waxing again, and also cheek waxing as well, which I've never had before. But he wanted an extra 90, so an extra nine pounds for that. So I declined and said I'll just have the hair cut and- For the video. Bro, you getting paid right now for this video. You should have done it for the, for the content, bro. Brim. Please take note that at the right time of the this haircut. video being uploaded, so I'll put the date in the description below. This is crazy. Look, he's getting a full head shave in this video. I almost want to watch it, but I don't have time. I got to go out, go take my wife out. But guys, that was that was an interesting video. I, I felt like the fade came out good. Definitely worth $12. Pounds, he said nine pounds. Definitely worth the money in my opinion. He even did the fire thing or whatever. But like he said, in Turkey, he could probably get the same thing for like half the price somewhere else. But you're going to get the same experience. I don't know. Seems like the, those guys are professional. They know what they're doing. Good for them charging a premium price in Turkey. Uh, that was dope, man. Once again, man, this, his channel is, real quick, shout him out, Aaron Oddball. I'll put a link in the description for his channel if you guys want to check it out. Oh, real quick, let's check out the comments. He said, totally different cut. He's gotten a Turkish haircut before. Did you like the tea there? Look, they also gave him tea. He forgot about that. Look, he's been getting his hair cut there since 2008. Very professional place. That's cool. Yeah, the fire is cool. I can't wait to go travel again. I'm definitely gonna make videos like this. Man. All right. He said, you do a better fade yourself. And he went down too far on the beard line. I do agree with that. But now I gotta watch his self cut. All right. Oh, somebody else came out with the, the self-cut mirror. Damn, that's savage. It's hard, man, being an entrepreneur, bro. You could be as innovative as you want. Somebody wants is going to try to steal your idea. All right, let's see. This is a self-cut right here. This first fade to the one in my last video. If you have any requests for... Okay, he gave himself a burst fade. I feel like he likes it longer on top, so that fade was a little bit short on top. But I don't know if this is a better fade than he got from the Turkish haircuts. guy. Please leave them so. in the comment section below. To me, that's not a burst fade. Nah, it's not a burst fade to me. That's just like a that's a mohawk, a short mohawk. This one's more burst fadeish, but even so, it's a little could have been more gradient. Aaron Arbaugh, if you're ever in Tampa, let me cut your hair. All right, but with that being said, again, guys, go check out his channel. Link is in the description below. We drop daily content on this channel. We react to barbering videos. We show the entrepreneurial side of barbering, do tutorials myself, and unboxings of different tools and stuff. So if you like it, please do subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow because we drop daily content on this channel.